Faithfulness is a virtue we all prize. There are those people we know who remember without fail birthdays and anniversaries and other special occasions in the lives of their family members and others. There are those folks who regularly volunteer their service at soup kitchens and homeless shelters and fundraising events for charitable causes. There are individuals who always seem to step up and lend a hand to people in desperate need, as we saw in the marathon bombings last month and in the Oklahoma tornado this week. There are people whom we can always count on to show up and serve. Our devoted mail carrier, a watchful crossing guard at a school, a dedicated nurse making his or her rounds in a hospital or in our own home. Some people are as faithful as the dawn in their presence and service. Fidelity is a virtue we all appreciate in others. Faithfulness is a thread that ties together the two scripture readings today. The reading from Sirach extols the faithfulness of a good friend. Hopefully, we all know from firsthand experience that such a person is a sturdy shelter, a treasure beyond price, a life-saving remedy, in the words of the first reading. Such friends are rare, but they are truly godsends because they mirror for us the very faithfulness of God. The gospel for today, it echoes the same thought about husbands and wives that love and honor each other every single day. Living out their sacrament of marriage, they show us the faithfulness of Christ, the bridegroom, in his love of the church, his bride. Husband and wife give us visible evidence of Christ's covenant of faithful love for all of those who claim him as their savior. Faithfulness is a virtue we all prize. It's also a virtue we need to strive for in our relationships with the Lord and with each other. With God's help, we can be faithful in prayer. We can be faithful in speaking with a kind mouth and gracious lips. We can be faithful in loving others in good times and in bad. The Eucharist itself is the fruit of Christ's faithful love for us on the cross. And so may the divine nourishment the Eucharist provides us help us all to grow in fidelity to the Lord and to his people.